it still brings some of the other stuff back into it that you still have to remember yeah, some stuff, it's but it's not off. as hard. Like a hundred percent of it. It's more from the yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, when you did this. Um, you multiply outside and inside. Yeah. I'm guessing is what you're asking. Okay, because the so first is just A. No, because they don't have opposite signs. Okay, because I was confused yeah. with how that stays negative. Yeah, because they don't have opposite signs. The only time you can do first and last is if the, opposite, the signs are opposite. Okay. Why did we come over? That is right. Okay. Um, don't do anything to that side. So that three stays that. You cube that. What you should have cubed was the two. Okay. You knew you had to cube something. All right, look up here. Um, we're going to take the two over. Uh, did y'all change it? Did you change it to roots? Uh, Most of you changed it to roots. Uh, so you did the cube root of 3y minus 1 minus 2 equals 0. You moved the 2 over. Then you cube both sides. So that gives me 3y minus 1, and it gives me an 8 right there. Because I cube both sides. I add the 1. So I have 3y equals 9, and then I divide by 3, and I get 3. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. I have a step where I got the number wrong. How would you I wrote do it down completely wrong. Um, okay, if you're not, if you don't want to do it the other way, ignore me. Okay, I bet you didn't think I'd ever say that. Okay. They're just going to ignore me for a minute, okay? And if you're doing it the other way, watch. Okay, so you're still zero. moving the two. Okay, zero. so then I have 3y minus 1 equals 2. This is to the 1 third power. Okay, I need to make that 3 over 3. That's the way to get rid of it. So therefore, I want to raise that to the third power. This would be 1 third times 3 or 3 over 3. What I do to one side, I got to do the other. Okay, so that goes away, and that gives me the eight. So and then like everything else continues. The same thing, but written differently. Yeah, exactly. That's all it is. Okay, now, every once in a while, guys, you're going to come into a no solution. Okay? Now, a no solution, let me see if I can find one real quick. Um, you know, sometimes they're just no solutions to life problems. Yeah, sometimes that's true. That's so funny. Yeah. There's always a solution. Things you learn in math. Yeah, yeah. there's no solution. You try to circle with the line through. Exactly. It's like, mm, <laughs> you're done. No, right here. What do we do? Circle the line through. <laughs> that's yeah. exactly what. Oh, you mean in life? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> try that. Where it's circle. Oh. I can I'm, see I'm, it I'm now. Oh, 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 and you missed the sign on the right side. Like, oh, oh, you oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and on the oh, right side of the board, there's, like there's two. There's two. Yeah. Right I'll take care of it once y'all start on your homework. <laughs> and there's one on the bottom, too. That was like the first one. Uh, bottom, middle, towards left, and off the left. Okay, let's say I have one like this. We have both CD. Okay. I can look at this problem. I can't look at those. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now all of you wave to Thomas because he's laughing right now. Okay. Hi, he's laughing. All right. I I can look at this and tell you there's not gonna be no solution. And the reason why is because when I take the square root of something, I'm not gonna get a negative. Okay. So, but most of the time our mind does not see that. 
And so that's why I tell you to always go back and plug it in. So let's say we didn't see it. Okay, we didn't see the fact that this problem cannot be done. Okay, so we go ahead and we, have, what would be our first step? Square it. We're going to square both sides. Okay, when we square the left side, we get a 2x minus 9. What do I get when I square the right-hand side? Right? Because a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, so 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 3 is 3. So I get that. Now, if I wanted to, if you guys are really opposed to fractions, I can multiply through and get rid of that fraction. So I multiply everything by 9 and the fraction goes away. So that's 18x minus 81 equals 1, if I want to, okay? Um, I'm going to add the 81, so I have 18 equals 82. Somebody take your calculator and divide 82 by 18 for me. Okay, so it doesn't convert no. to a fraction. How many fives in there? 41 over 9. Yeah. 41 over 9. Yeah. Okay, so let's, so I like, okay, that's my solution, that's my solution. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to plug it back in. Okay, 2 times 41 over 9 minus 9. Now somebody take their calculator and do that for me and tell me what goes right here. Point. Yeah. One over nine. Um, what is it? It's one over nine. One over nine is what it does. Okay. So I get the square root of one over nine is equal to negative one third. What's the square root of one over nine? Is that a true statement? No. No. One third equals negative one third. No. No. So therefore, it's empty set. Boo. Okay, so therefore, I really wasted all that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, it would have been so much easier if I had said, you know what? Yeah, but what if I messed up when we were doing it and it was a correct equation and then it didn't work? Say you well, well, then, you know, like, how do you really know? Because I can't take the square root of something and get a negative. You know, I don't care what the number is, it's not going to give me a negative answer. Okay, because I can't do that with the square root. There's no number that I can multiply by itself. And get a negative answer. Correct? Okay. Um, all right. I am going to give you your homework now. But understand, you're going to, there's a few, we didn't get to the inequalities. That would be too much in your head right now. Okay. So we're going to stop with what we've done so far. And um, so I'm going to tell you some not to do. Okay. So I'm going to give you even, and then I'm, underneath it, I'm going to say not this number or this number. If I happen to miss, an inequality, don't do it, okay? Um, so I want you to do page 307. I want you to do 14 through 38, even, but not hold on, 26. Turn it around backwards and you do the backside. I don't think I'll do the notebook. Yeah. 